short of a length and Devine very quickly with the footwork gets underway with the single down to Webb. And that's in the air and for the second time this season Beth Mooney has tugged it around the corner and has been caught. Two figures in single figures for the leading run scorer in the competition and the pressure on the scorches straight away. Wasn't the best delivery by Hayward going down leg, but good catch there by Carly Leeson diving to her left. Well, slightly coming from right to left as she comes in. Edged through the slips cordon. Hayley Matthews sort of looks at her hands in disbelief as the ball trickles over the boundary line. And, and a fraction wide of the body as well. And there's the cut. Back into the right-hander, cramps her up, drags it onto the stumps, and the Melbourne Renegades have started perfectly in their last match of the season. Yeah, that's through. No need to run for that one, Sophie Devine, unless, of course, you just want to get the legs pumping and warmed up. Yeah, it's a good shot by Devine. She's... Looks to go big down the ground. It's a favoured shot of hers, and why not when you play it that well? Goes big this time, though, and that has gone a long way up. Has she got the distance on it? Yeah, she has. I'm just going to move my feet and hit down the ground and use this power. I mean, people would kill to have power like that and be able to hit and clear the boundary so easy, as opposed to trying to go across the line and bring the risk in. She's done it once. She's going to do it twice. This time, square through mid-wicket. And danger signs here for the Melbourne Renegades. And A single to finish off the eighth over. Devine moves to 24. Cap 13. The Scorchers two for 46. And it's time for a drink. Chipped in the air. It's gone straight over the umpire's head, which is usually pretty safe. As Sophie Devine comes around, that is one off the run chase. And there's another leading edge. For a wicket this time. It was short of Divine for the first ball into the safe hands of the skipper for the second. Molly Mills mentioned not being in the wickets, but that's a vital wicket early in this run chase. Another leading edge. Would you believe it? Can the ground be made? It can and taken. The Perth Scorchers are up and going in defending this total, and it's Edgar with the catch and just managed to disclose the face of that bat and get another top edge. A good catch here from Edgar, I think it is. Yep, really good catch. And another one, Sky, this time to the offside. There won't be any protection down there, and she's got a little bit more of it than I think we all first thought as one bounce for. This time goes for it yet again, one that is skied in the air, a challenge underneath it, it's bobbled, it's bobbled in and out, the hands off the chest and in the hands again, and it's Mills. Caught at mid-wicket, a little bit of an ice cream on Lily Mills here, but manages to hang on. Well, yep, she's got it, second. Slaps it, and does it fall short? No, they're claiming it here, the Perth Scorchers. Is that the fourth to fall within the fourth over? Yeah, decides to go to the onside. Let's stop mucking around with the offside. And maybe, maybe there was a fingertip on the ball. And that is through very, very quickly indeed. Nicely timed there from Erica Kirsch. And that's what she goes to. Another chance for Cleary out in the field. No, there's not. Cleanly struck as Sophie Devine runs after it. Just thought the Melbourne Renegades need. Erica Kershaw extremely strong off the back foot. Oh, she's hit that cleanly. It's gone straight back over the umpire's head. Devine with the leap, can't get a hand on it and parry it back. That is clean by Erica Kershaw. Pace off. Slaps it through the offside. Yeah, it's the placement more so than anything else from Kershaw. She is flying here in Moe. Slapped up and over the offside. That is nice once again there from Erica Kershaw. Furling after it. The ball wins the race. It's down to three from four. Equal top score on the competition for Kershaw. 
as it's a French cut. It's an edge. It's gone to the boundary line. It wasn't as clean as all their other boundaries, but it gets the result that they were looking for, the Melbourne Renegades, with the boundary and with the win as well. The Perth Scorchers have been knocked out of WBBL 08.